Now, there are lots and lots and lots of group policy settings, and the vast majority of these group policy settings are applicable if you're using WSUS, not with System Center, because if you're going to do that, um, you would uh, go through and you'd do things like specify the uh, WSUS server location. So uh, over on page 348 and um, yeah, pretty much 348, the bottom of those, all of those settings in there, these are old group policies that we would use with standalone WSUS hierarchies without System Center. And that would tell the clients, oh, in order for you to get an update, you need to go to the WSUS server we want them to go to the distribution point. The WSUS server acts in the background. The clients don't have to know where that is. So in your book, they go through and they tell you, oh, by the way, this is where you tell it where your uh, internet service location is. You want to turn that off. Um, that is one that you, you definitely turn off. This is where we ID the WSUS server. And uh, if we're doing this using System Center Configuration Manager, we're not even telling them that we have a WSUS server. Uh, we also have um, the various content that's in there. And when we do our, um, our updates, we need to say whether or not we're going to allow it. Um, this is the setting that we say. It says allow sign content. Uh, when we do that, we will allow you to accept updates to an internet location as long as they are signed. And we also have a trusted publishers certificate. So this allows us to be able to go in and, and put in third party uh, updates as well. And as long as they're digitally signed, then we'll go ahead and allow those in there. Um, the, um, the automatic updates option. In fact, let me go in. I'm going to fire off my domain controller here. Let me cancel out of this. And we'll go into our DC. And inside the domain controller, I'm going to open up the group policy editor real quick. It says, hey, we noticed you're teaching a class. How about we interrupt you and do some updates? Nah, nah, we'll go ahead and shut that off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my, uh, my group policy editor. Looks like maybe I already have it open. And I do. Yay. So we will go into my domain here. So inside of my domain, we'll go into a.com. And we have our group policy objects. And uh, we have the default ones. I'm going to make one for WSUS. And uh, the location for these, um, these are, uh, does he have it in the book? Does he have the location in the book? And it's kind of hidden, so I'll just show you. So I'm going to edit this. We'll right click on it. I'll say edit. And what we're going to do is, is uh, this is underneath our Windows component. So we'll go into our computer policy and administrative templates and all that. So we'll say computer configurations. We'll go into our policies and we'll get into administrative templates and then we're going to get into our Windows components, which is this guy right here. Inside of Windows components, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. It's not quite the absolute bottom, but it's pretty close. It's a Windows update and there's lots and lots and lots of options here. Let me get out of the way so you can go through and see it. Um, one of the first things that we talked about, let me sort these in alphabetical order. But uh, we have configure automatic updates. This is the one that you, uh, you will go through and set this up. Um, you can do this in the configure automatic update group policy setting on the control panel, or I can do it here inside the group policy. So I can say it's enabled. And then we will say when they go through and check. So I can say automatic download for install, notify, uh, auto download and schedule it, or allow the local admin to go through and pick that up. Um, just remember, when we're doing automatic updates, um, we will potentially also get uh, notifications and icons. And if we're running this at the same time we're doing it with System Center, we can get duplicate notifications. We'll get the System Center notification, then we'll get the automatic update notification. And then people may get confused because uh, System Center, uh, we may have updated it with, uh, with uh, WSUS, and then System Center is advertising it and it doesn't know or the System Center has, uh, has already been advertising it and then WSUS wants to advertise it. So usually you want to pick uh, one or the other. That's what you uh, typically want to do. Uh, when we have the Configuration Manager client install, um, we will also automatically install the Windows Update Agent. And it's going to go through and do self-updating if necessary. If I don't have a new version or it's disabled, 
then what will happen is, is that when we have an update cycle on the Configuration Manager client, it will pull down the latest version of the, the update as necessary.